Hi guys, uh, Kirk from the Forever Homestead. So finally, we have some sunlight, which is kind of nice to have a nice, nice day with some blue skies. So I'm really glad that you know spring, summer's finally approaching. Um, we can finally do, we can get some work done without running generators and you know spending money on gas and all that. We're just using our uh, just our 24 volt uh, battery bank behind us here to to run everything today. looking inside of Tex. Uh, this is the red shipping container um, and it's this is where we're gonna house our, our solar uh, our powerhouse as I uh, as it's being called uh, and I, it's about the beginning of April so in about a month uh, I have all of the batteries coming so 48 uh, what did we do the SL 1450s I think they are um, so there's 48 of them each one is a 2 volt battery uh, each battery weighs about 120 pounds, uh, and they measure. They're about 17 inches high, about seven and a seven and a quarter wide, and uh, 12 and a half inches uh, long. So inside of the can here, we have a 40-foot shipping can. Obviously, we don't want to use the whole can for power. We want to kind of keep it to to the bare minimum. But the plan for the batteries in this can. Uh, I've been kind of going over different ideas and different ways of doing it. Uh, the one that I think I've decided on is uh, I'm kind of taking a page out of my old Bell Canada days and, and Smiston cabling communication days and I'm going to do kind of a, a, a version of the data room floors. Um, in case you're not familiar with it, basically what it is is a, is a floating floor uh, and in a data room you can pick up some of the floor panels and underneath it they can run cabling and all that kind of stuff to their servers. I'm going to do the same idea because we have 48 batteries which it, it takes up it's a lot of space uh, and not to mention a lot of power. So having that much power in a space you know that if somebody came in and set like a screwdriver down on top of it and it shorted out terminals I mean it's, it's a serious amount of power in there. Well enough power to run our house to run our property. So as you can tell from the uh, from the shipping container here, it's quite a mess inside. Um, this has kind of been my workshop up until this point. So I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, start start getting this construction done, kind of clean out some things, and then I think we'll get started on on putting the floor in. I've got five eighths tongue and groove plywood sitting on top of uh, one inch um, foam board for insulation on the floor. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is build an 18 inch false floor. The batteries are 17 inches high so I'm going to have uh, an 18 inch false floor and all the way around each battery there's going to be about between three quarters of an inch and an inch of air space. So a little progress update. Uh, yeah so the I have the wall, the 2x4 framing on the sides of the can on both sides um, around the window and everything here. Uh, the wall for the door is there and then I have two of four of these built so um, it's kind of tight quarters to see but so in so each of these is 18 inches high um, and the space in here is uh, 14 inches so in this row there will be 12 batteries same here there will be 12 batteries and then when I finish this part here uh, the, about from there to there will be a three foot space um, and then a wall there and then there'll be two more of these here. So when all said and done that will be the floor height there. Uh, and then there's going to be a floor over it with panels that I can pop out so when I have to do my routine maintenance and, and upkeep on the batteries it's pretty simple to get into. Uh, making the panels wasn't actually anything too difficult. I took uh, some 4x8 sheets of tongue and groove plywood. Uh, I cut the the tongue and the groove off of it uh, just because I had it laying around instead of buying different plywood. Uh, I ran it through the table saw, um, made some uh, about 15 inch cuts, 15 inch width I believe they were, uh, and then 
once that was done, I moved on over to the uh, the chop saw to finish up the cuts, or sorry, to finish up the length. Uh, it took me uh, three sheets of plywood, but once I had them cut down to the, the length of, or the width of 15 inches, I moved over to the Bosch chop saw and cut them down to the length that I needed. Um, of course, the the maximum width that the Bosch would cut was a little bit less than my 15 inches, so I ended up having to flip them over halfway through or uh, with just a little, I don't know, inch left on it and recut it. But uh, once I got the process down, it wasn't too difficult to do. Once I had all of the boards that I needed, I ended up find, or using some barn board that I had left over from the pump house project. Uh, I ripped it down to the one and a half inch, inch width um, that I needed. Um, it's just to add some, uh, some support to the, the actual panels. Uh, once I had the inch and a half, um, I lowered the blade and I cut uh, a dado in each of the boards uh, just big enough to be able to basically frame the panels in. Uh, so about five inches, five eighths of an inch deep and um, half an inch wide and just just doing some miters, 45 degree miters and such, I was able to uh, kind of picture frame the, the panels to make them all nice and rigid. Anyway, um, so the panels are going to sit like this. You'll see there's a space between here. Uh, each panel sits one inch on each of the on the sides here. Um, so, and this is a two by four. So there's about an inch and a half gap that'll sit between these two panels. I'm gonna probably use two by four, um, cut it down to the proper height, and those the spacers will actually be fastened right to this two by four. Uh, that will keep these panels from shifting around. The inside, the, the inside two walls will be a 2x4 construction that I'll be able to insulate as well to get a little bit more heat in there. Normally when it comes to insulating a shipping container, uh, I kind of think that it's best to use blow foam insulation just because price or uh, space is kind of at a, at a premium inside of a shipping can. I mean, they're, they're, they're only as like eight feet wide or something like that. Uh, but in this case, uh, bad insulation works fine because the space in the actual powerhouse, um, a lot of it is just space for batteries that's under the floor. So I went with a rock cell insulation. Uh, it's got a little bit more, or it's a little bit more rodent proof, uh, it, just because of the materials it's made out of. Um, so I just did the, uh, you know, for a, for two by four inch construction. It only took me, uh, I believe four bags to finish the entire room, uh, both outside walls or sorry, the inside wall. Uh, and there's also going to be um, foam board, rigid foam board on the outside of the barn itself. So I think that's plenty. All right, well, almost done with this uh, project. I uh, just got to pick up a little bit more uh, material. I need some more half inch plywood. Um, have one more panel to build for here. Uh, these are the last two panels for that side. Uh, when this one's in here, uh, this is the stairwell I'm sitting in. So if I needed to get into the batteries here, uh, you just pick up the panel then I can just get down into the batteries here and do any work that needs to be done. So they're, uh, they're, I fit them a little bit loose, uh, and that's just, there's my screws. Uh, I fit them a little bit loose, but that's just because it's, uh, it's not really the damp season or the humid season yet. Uh, I do plan on painting them, uh, so that'll help seal the wood up. But other than that, uh, the powerhouse is pretty much ready for batteries. I mean, if they had to come today, I could be ready, or the, they're, uh, I'm close enough for it. Um, I still have a week or so, but um, yeah, I guess that uh, that finishes up this project. I won't bore you with the you know the final putting on the plywood and stuff like that. But make sure you come back soon. I'm gonna have a video up on getting all the electronics mounted. Uh, there'll also be a video coming up on the batteries coming in. So lots going on. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, until next time, have a good one. So that's it. Uh, so that <clears throat> takes 704. The more you comment, the faster the channel. Ch la, 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 la. Yeah, the more you guys comment, the faster the channel is going to grow. Uh, 